Hi everyone, welcome to JLabs. If this is your first time in my channel, please don't forget to hit subscribe to receive updates for more videos like this. Pull-up resistors are very common when dealing with microcontrollers. This video discusses one of the GPIO modes which activates pull-ups or pull-downs when configured as input. The same concept also applies to external pull-ups or pull-downs. For the sake of simplicity, let's focus on pull-ups since they have similar concepts with pull-downs, with a slight difference that a pull-up resistor is connected to the VDD while the pull-down resistor is connected to the ground. In our previous video, we have discussed about high impedance pin and why we shouldn't leave it floating. By adding a pull-up resistor to a microcontroller pin, it prevents any unknown state. Pull-ups are often used with buttons and switches. With a pull-up resistor, the input pin will read a high state when the button is not pressed. In other words, a small amount of current is flowing between VDD and the input pin. Thus, the input pin reads close to VDD. When the button is pressed, it connects the input pin directly to ground. The current flows to the ground through the resistor, thus the input pin reads a low state. Keep in mind, if the resistor wasn't there, your button would connect VDD to ground, which could damage your circuit. It is also known as short. What value of resistor should you choose? For internal pull-ups, this is no longer necessary because the resistor values are already predefined within the MCU. But for external pull-ups, choose a value on the range of 10 kilo ohms. Was the video helpful? Did we miss something? Or is there a particular topic you would like us to cover? Please let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video.